Hello everybody and welcome to the Extrodius Turbo Discovery Championship Episode 1. Today we are going to be going over introductions for all 29 contestants, including myself. And we are going to be covering the price category and the market category. Before we get started on looking at all of the cars though, I want to explain some of the changes I've made to the championship format. I, I originally just copy and pasted all of the challenges from Guffy's championship, but now I've decided to make a little bit of changes, but it's mostly the same stuff. I've mostly just added a couple things. So now we have the price category, the market category, the top speed, the boost, which originally I was going to do boost off of the automation PSI listing, but uh, I noticed how that is max PSI and you may not actually get anywhere near that in BeamNG, so we're going to see what kind of boost you get in BeamNG instead. And then we are going to test acceleration, which is probably going to be just 0 to 60 miles per hour. Uh, then we have the braking test, we have the quarter mile test, we have the hot lap. I'm not sure what track exactly I'm going to do, I might just do the same one that Guffy has listed. And then we have the uh, miles per gallon testing with the, the fuel economy. Then we have the crash testing. Then I'm going to set up an AI race. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. I might do multiple, I might do a small one, I might do a big one, I'm not sure yet. And then we are going to have a Google surveys poll to figure out who wins for the looks category. And then after Sorry, all of that, that, I'm not fucking talking to you, Google. Okay, now now she's back to sleep. Um, where was I? So after we get done with all the episodes, the testing, all that different stuff, we will of course figure out the winners of the entire championship. And to keep things simple, we are going to look at all of the contestants in the order of who is already winning because I already did all the math to figure all that junk out. So as we go through each person, I will tell you what the person got and what place they are currently in. I want to start off by saying you guys are really giving me some challenges with pronouncing these car names and pronouncing your names. If I uh, if I say a name of you or your car stupid, that's just that's just how it's going to be. In first place, we have Tanks or Tryhards with his Levante Sparviero 30 Turbo. He scored a 25 in price with a price of 21,800 and he scored a 28 in market with a average market score of 172.1. His car has a 3 liter inline 6 with a 4 speed manual. It is front engine, rear wheel drive, and it makes 252 horsepower and 238 foot pounds of torque. In second place, we have the Colored Cow with his FPV Altair TI5. He scored 21 in price, with a price of 26700 and he scored a 24 in market, with a average market score of 164.3. His car has a 2.3 liter inline 5, with a 5 speed manual. It is mid-engine, rear wheel drive, making 221 horsepower and 198 foot-pounds of torque. Coming in third, we have Werewolf 3698 with their Ghost XR8 TT. The Ghost scored a 10 in price with their price of 37,100, and they scored a 30 in market with their average market score of 181.7. Their car has a 3.5 liter V8, mated to a 5 speed manual. It is mid-engine rear-wheel drive, and the engine makes 304 horsepower and 271 foot-pounds of torque. In fourth place, we have Captain Cracker with their Ibis Raptor GT6. The Raptor scored a 22 in price with a price of 25,900, and it scored a 16 in market with an average market score of 141.4. It has a 2.5 liter V6, with a 5-speed manual, it is mid-engine rear-wheel drive, and it makes 156 horsepower and 159 foot-pounds of torque. 
In fifth place, we have Tay-Tay Braps with their Tomic Serpent Turbo Sport Monza. It scored a 30 in price with its very cheap price of $17,000. And it scored an 8 in market with the average market score of 101.7. It has a 4 liter Boxer 6. It has a 4 speed manual. It is rear engine, rear wheel drive. It makes 220 horsepower and 247 foot pounds of torque. In sixth place, we have Jeremy Mailman with his Jupiter Turbo. It scored a 28 in price with a price of 20,200, and it scored a nine in market with a average market uh, score of 108.2. It has a three liter inline six. It has a five speed manual. It is front engine rear wheel drive and it makes 286 horsepower and 226 foot pounds of torque. In 7th place we have James with his Baytoss V8. It scored a 13 in price with a price of 35,700 and it scored a 23 in market with an average market score of 162.4. It has a 2.8 liter V8 with a 5 speed manual. It is mid-engine rear-wheel drive, making 349 horsepower and 267 foot-pounds of torque. In 8th place, we have Pazoozles, I think that's how you say that, with their Orb Piranha 75TB. They scored a 16 in price, with a price of 31400 and they scored a 20 in market with an average market score of 152.3. It has a 4 liter V8 with a 4 speed manual. It is mid engine rear wheel drive and it makes 261 horsepower and 255 foot pounds of torque. In ninth place we have St. Laurent with their Classic GT. It scored a 29 in price with a price of 19,500. And it scored a 7 in market with an average market score of 96.3. It is a 4.8 liter Boxer 6, a 4 speed manual. It is rear engine rear wheel drive. It has 232 horsepower and 314 foot pounds of torque. In 10th place, we have Sir Bent with their TS 180. It scored a 9 in price with a price of 39,200. And it scored a 27 in market with a average market score of 170.1. It has a 4 liter V8 with a 5 speed manual. It is mid engine rear wheel drive. And it has 445 horsepower and 385 foot pounds of torque. In 11th place, we have NKZ15 with their 595 FTTS. It scored a 15 in price with a price of 32,300 and it scored a 19 in market with an average market score of 150.9. It has a 3.6 liter Boxer 6 with a 5 speed manual. It is rear engine rear wheel drive and it makes 290 horsepower and 282 foot pounds of torque. In 12th place we have Racing Winner with their Brinkwood Comac XTR. It scored a 24 in price with a price of 21,900 and a 10 in market with a average market score of 120.7. It has a 3.4 liter inline 6 with a 5 speed manual. It is front engine rear wheel drive with 196 horsepower and 235 foot pounds of torque. In 13th place we have Welcome to Costco with their Panamericana 547SR. It scored a 19 in price with a price of 29,000 and it scored a 15 in market with a average market score of 140.2. It has a 4.7 liter inline six with a five speed manual. It is rear engine rear wheel drive with 265 horsepower and 328 foot pounds of torque. In 14th place, we have Zuka with their Butler and Jones Rumbler. It scored a 23 in price with a price of 25,700 and it scored an 11 in market with an average market score of 121.6. It has a 3.5 liter V8 with a 5 speed manual. It is front engine rear wheel drive with 306 horsepower and 257 foot pounds of torque. 
In 15th, we have Dylan with their International Goblin TAD. It scored a 7 in price with a price of 42400 and it scored a 26 in market with an average market score of 169.5. It has a massive 9.3 liter V8 with a 5-speed manual. It is front engine, four-wheel drive with 612 horsepower and 629 foot-pounds of torque. I think this thing is going to be a little crazy. In 16th, we have Matt with his Goudland 875. It scored a 12 in price with a price of 35800 and it scored a 21 in market with an average market score of 156.9. It has a 5 liter Boxer 6 with a 5 speed manual. It is rear engine, rear wheel drive, and it makes 407 horsepower and 414 foot pounds of torque. In 17th, we have Mancer Black with their SXS Tarshish. It scored a 4 in price with a price of 47400 and it scored a 29 in market with an average market score of 176.4. It has a 5.5 liter Boxer 6 with a 5 speed manual. It is mid engine rear wheel drive with 457 horsepower and 511 foot pounds of torque. In 18th, we have Named by a Fish with their TMR Baronet Royale. It scored a 14 in price with a price of 33400 and it scored an 18 in market with an average market score of 149.8. It has a 3.6 liter V8 with a 5 speed manual. It is front engine rear wheel drive with 252 horsepower and 345 foot pounds of torque. In 19th we have Master Gear with their HMW S20 R200 Turbo. It got a 26 in price with a price of 20700 and it got a 5 in market with a average market score of 89.9. It has a 2 liter inline 4 with a 4 speed manual. It is front engine rear wheel drive with 180 horsepower and 148 foot pounds of torque. So far certainly the calmest car. In 20th, we have Meg Turlo with their Voltus Venom Turbo. It got an 8 in price with a price of 41600 and a 22 in market with an average market score of 160.1. It has a 4.5 liter V12 with a 5 speed manual. It is rear engine, rear wheel drive with 535 horsepower and 419 foot pounds of torque. In 21st, we have Prus Prusik with their VEB M&J Type 4 Turbo. It got a 5 in price with a price of 44100 and a 25 in market with an average market score of 167.2. It has a 5.6 liter V12 with a 4 speed automatic. It is mid-engine rear wheel drive with 293 horsepower and 488 foot pounds of torque. In 22nd, we have Young Doofman with their Empire Club Sport Concept. It got a 27 in price with a price of 20700 and it got a 2 in market with a market average score of 81.4. It has a 4.5 liter inline 6 with a 5 speed manual. It is front engine rear wheel drive with 250 horsepower and 321 foot pounds of torque. In 23rd, we have Guffaluff with their Eagle Bandit Turbo RX. They scored an 11 in price with a price of 36200 and a 12 in market with an average market score of 125.9. It has a 4 liter V8 with a 5 speed manual. It is front engine rear wheel drive with 317 horsepower and 336 foot pounds of torque. In 24th is Persol with their VAC Bullet. It got a 20 in price with a price of 27,600 and a 3 in market with an average market score of 85. It has a 3.4 liter V8 with a 5 speed manual. It is front engine rear wheel drive with 330 horsepower and 297 foot pounds of torque. In 25th we have Ventilatorio with their P103. It scored a 17 in price with a price of 29900 
and a score of 6 in market with an average market score of 95.6. It has a 3.1 liter inline 5 with a 5 speed manual. It is mid engine rear wheel drive with 304 horsepower and 278 foot pounds of torque. In 26th, we have Oliver the Hover Van with their Lafayette Sunshine GTI. It scored an 18 in price with a price of 29800 and a score of 4 in market with an average market score of 85.7. It has a 2.4 liter inline 4 with a 5 speed manual. It is front engine rear wheel drive with 228 horsepower and 205 foot pounds of torque. In 27th, we have myself with the Phenom Twin OCS. It scored a 6 in price with a price of 42700 and a 14 in market with an average market score of 139.9. It has a 5.3 liter V8 with a 5 speed manual. It is front engine 4 wheel drive with 500 horsepower and 461 foot pounds of torque. In 28th, we have HDJ with their Horch 944 Turbo S. It scored a 2 in price with a price of 49400 and a 17 in market with an average market score of 146.3. It has a 4.4 liter V12 with a 5 speed manual. It is mid engine rear wheel drive with 697 horsepower and 509 foot pounds of torque. This is going to be another monster to drive. And lastly, in 29th, we have M. Gobla with their GTO. It scored a 3 in price with a price of 47900 and a 13 in market with an average market score of 135 It has a 5.1 liter V8 with a 5-speed manual. It is mid-engine rear-wheel drive with 702 horsepower and 612 foot-pounds of torque. So if I remember right, I think we're going to have about three or four crazy cars to uh, try to handle, so that should be fun. So, so far after price and market, this is how the scoreboard is looking. Congratulations to Tanks or Tryhards, The Colored Cow, and Werewolf3698 for taking first, second, and third after the first episode. In episode 2, we should be having some fun with checking out top speed and checking out 0 to 60 times in BMG. Episode 2 should be coming out anytime in the next few days. Also, a friendly reminder to join Guffy's Discord if you aren't already in it. It's where tons of fun challenges take place, and it's where this one's taking place. And it's a fun community, so feel free to check the description and come join us in the Discord. See you guys next time. So I never noticed this until now because I just used Google to put everyone's score in order, but there's actually a lot of ties. For example, there's four people with 36 points and there's four people with 34 points. So I didn't mention it during the video, but just so you know, there's a lot of ties going on. So if you're one of the four people with 36 points, really you're all tied for like sixth place or so. So don't feel too bad if uh, you're a little bit behind because you might actually be a little closer ahead than thought. Let's go.